Well, hey there, and welcome back for another Secondhand Opinions video. I'm Jason Alderman, the internet's favorite fat mouth fat ass, bringing you fat stacks, fuck facts. Coronavirus confusion. Let's talk a little bit about it. We've gotten an awful lot of different numbers. First, we heard 2% death rate in America out of 300 million people. That's an awful lot of folks. A couple million folks dead. We haven't seen that yet. We heard 15 days to flatten the curve, and five, six months later, here we are. We heard masks, no masks, yes masks, no masks, better have a mask. We heard social distancing, but guys on surfboards in the ocean getting arrested. We heard hanging out with your family is fine, just try and stay away from folks you don't live with. And then people with their kids in a park get arrested. We've heard it all. We've heard... The Attilus Gym in New Jersey gets shut down and the guys running it get arrested, etc. Even though they can social distance. We heard Nancy Pelosi shut down hair salons a couple times in California. And then she wants them to open up and let her in without a mask so she can get her hair done. Well, now we got a news story talking about, what is it, Boston Laboratory 400 false positive tests. So they rescinded testing. Let's go take a look at it. Coronavirus testing at Boston Labs suspended after nearly 400 false positives. A Boston lab suspended coronavirus testing after an investigation uncovered nearly 400 false positive COVID-19 results. Origin, a biotechnology company which counts dozens of nursing homes as its clients, ceased testing on August 8th at the request of the Massachusetts Department of Public Health. The suspension came days after the state officials became aware of an unusually high number of positive coronavirus tests. An investigation found that there were at least 383 inaccurate positive results from the lab that, upon retesting, came back as negative. On August 27th, the MDPH said it notified Origin that they had been cited with three significant certification deficiencies that put patients at immediate risk of harm. The Boston lab is required to respond with a written plan of correction, and if action is not taken... It can face sanctions, a public department spokesperson said in a statement to NBC Wednesday. The health department said roughly 60 nursing homes either still or have been clients of origin. One of the nursing homes that did receive false positive results was the Pines Edge Nursing Center at the North Hill Retirement Community in Needham, Massachusetts. Ted Owens, president and CEO of North Hill, told NBC News in a statement Wednesday that on August 3rd, Pines Edge was notified that 18 employees and one resident had tested positive for the coronavirus. You know, guys, maybe this has something to do with uh, the... I heard a, a rumor that China was putting out tests that were already going to come back positive regardless, and that some uh, the president of Tanzania had tested uh, a goat a fig and a car something else and two of the three came back positive lots of scuttlebutt about the idea that there were lots of tests that were giving out false positives in the beginning i don't know but i suspect this may have something to do with all of those uh, corrupted tests that we were hearing about unaware that the tests were inaccurate the facility moved the residents into isolation and the employees were sent home with paid sick leave we notified our community of residents, family members, and employees about the situation, which understandably caused significant concern. The costs to the facility were also significant, Owen said in his statement. The false positive results created tremendous fear and anxiety amongst employees, residents, and the family members of both. On August 10, following two rounds of retesting that returned negative results, the facility was allowed to remove the residents out of isolation and the employees could return to work. Cindy Deater whose 99-year-old cousin lives at the center, told NBC Boston that she was shocked about the mix-up. I think the testing has been wretched, she said. I think when you're connected to a nursing home, you have to do everything right. In addition to working with Massachusetts nursing homes, the facility is also partnered with North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services. In a statement on Wednesday, the department said it will sever ties with origin following news of the false positives. After NCDHHS became aware of the concerns about the vendor from the Massachusetts Department of Health, a stop order was issued for the contract with Origin, and all labs collected in the final week of events were instead processed by DC and, or NCDHHS, the spokesperson said. So the other day I was talking about how medical staff were being incentivized financially to test positive or... or, or say that deaths were due to COVID, etc., and what have you. This has nothing to do with that. What I want to bring up here is 
how many elderly folks were picked up, jostled around, reshuffled, reestablished that may have been detrimental to their health, all the stress and moving around and, and anxiety, etc. How many elderly folks in New York, etc., died from being harassed after a false positive test, having a tube stuffed down their throat or some such other thing, having medication delivered that ended up causing them to die? The Massachusetts Health Department said its investigation found that Origin failed to provide management and direction, lacked proper testing materials, and did not document daily sanitization processes. Origin, which was allowed to begin COVID-19 testing in April, has until September 14th to provide a written plan of correction, the health department said. The laboratory did not immediately return a request for comment on Wednesday, but told NBC Boston, We understand the critical importance of speed and precision of COVID-19 testing, and we're committed to providing accurate, timely results for our clients. Seems to me like you might have just been committed to uh, going with the narrative and providing more evidence to fulfill that narrative. The scale of Origin's erroneous testing remains unclear, according to the Boston Globe, since state health officials did not retest every sample the facility processed. The lab's chief executive, Robin Smith, told the outlet that Origin processed tens of thousands of coronavirus tests over the past 90 days for clients across the country. So all this inaccurate modeling, all of this misreports on, on the effects of COVID, on the contagion of COVID, the comorbidity of COVID, all of this stuff about how you got these rules here and these rules there, etc., 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 all of this crazy pandemic panic and you guys still haven't even figured out how to get the testing right it's been six months you can't even tell if people have it or don't quit playing games stop at the lockdowns this is ridiculous you guys look so stupid <laughs> your credibility has been shot to shit <laughs> democrats ain't gonna be able to run anybody on any kind of position of authority for the next 10 damn years. <laughs> well, let's all pretend like our opinions matter and leave them in the comments below. And remember, this is social media, so do all the things.